the Sorona Clinic in a Brutal Iron Gym. In uh, the video I want to show you, I'm going to share a couple exercises that are examples of accessory movements, things you can do after a barbell squat, really any kind of squat, but if you want to improve your squat, here's a couple exercises you can do. Uh, these also <coughs> translate to deadlift as well, so I'll show you a couple of them and then I encourage you to give them a try. So the first thing I have here is a deadlift bar, I mean any kind of bar. I happen to be using my deadlift bar right now. But we're going to be doing conventional stance, so normal stance, like conventional stance for deadlifts, or we're going to do stiff leg deadlifts. We can use this as a great way, stiff leg deadlifts, to work our glutes, our hamstrings, and then also just core bracing, and then upper back position. So I'll do five reps. A typical starting position for a conventional deadlift would be where my knees are beside my forearms. I'd have my head in line with my spine, and I would want to take my upper body and kind of pull it, like straighten it up. I don't want to like arch my back, but I want to make sure my thoracic spine isn't rounded over. I want to kind of tighten that up. So that would be our normal starting position for a conventional deadlift. If that's the stance that I use, I can now lift my hips and hinge more at the hips, keep my knees a little straighter, and I can perform a stiff leg deadlift. So this is a variation where I'm really trying not to use the front of my legs, just trying to use my hamstrings and my glutes and try to stay nice and tight in good position. Another option we have is if you do sumo deadlifts, you can do a stiff leg deadlift variation in a sumo stance. So this is again a really good way to work the back side of your deadlift specific to the stance that you use. So you would use your normal sumo position and maybe my normal starting position. I would have that same concept of my upper back tight. I'd have my knees just outside my forearms, shins vertical, and then that would be my normal kind of starting position. For this, we're going to do a stiff leg variation. So we're going to leave our legs slightly bent, but definitely more extended. And I'm going to hinge at my hips. Then, I want to do just like I did with the conventional deadlift. Try to just use the back side of my body. Stretch and lift, just like this. So again, we can do anywhere between 5 to 10 reps. Just stay in nice and controlled. So those are two examples you can do with a barbell on the floor. So again, I just have it set up like this. Another option we have, another alternative, I have here our duffalo bar. So you see how the bar is bent. And I'm actually using it in a front rack position. And that'll help it to where the bar won't feel like it's going to like roll down or fall off of me. And I have a slider on the floor. So I'm actually doing reverse lunges with a front rack position. So I'll show you a couple reps. And again, the idea of this, if you can see me here, is having something on the front side of my body. I can't lean over and use my lower back. I have to use my thighs, specifically the muscles right by my knees. So I'll show you just a couple rep example of this exercise. Now, you can rack it if you want between the transition of the feet. Good. So, that was just a couple reps, but the idea is other than being ridiculously out of breath. The idea is it gives me a unilateral challenge where I'm working one leg at a time. And again, you can see I had a slider, had a duffalo bar. Now you can use any bar you want. You can use a regular barbell. 
You can use a safety squat bar, that way it's more secure. But the idea of this is it works unilaterally one limit at a time. And that helps you work on internal, external rotation stability in the hip. And it helps work on the pull of those muscles off your knee. So it works on knee stability as well. The reason why I like using this slider is you have more constant tension the whole time. So rather than your body kind of like drifting back into the step, catching the bottom position, and then throwing yourself back into the next one, this keeps you constant tension the whole time. So here's some options. Again, you can use any bar, uh, but a front rack position is really well, it works really well. If you do it with a duffel bar or a regular barbell, you can use a safety squat bar, and that works well as well. But that's a good kind of couple options you can use. Then we have a barbell on the ground, and you can do conventional stance, stiff leg deadlifts from the floor, or sumo stance, stiff leg deadlifts from the floor. So some fun options, things you can put together after your squat or after your deadlift. It helps you build those bigger lifts because you're breaking down the mechanics of the big lift into these smaller isolative challenges. As you get good at the small isolative challenges, you get better at the bigger stuff. So give this a try and good luck.